Joseph, uh, a very uh, good evening in India and back in uh, in uh, Germany. Uh, uh, a very good afternoon. Uh, it's always a pleasure to speak to you uh, uh, to also know some great work that you're doing in your space in 3D visual uh, hardware monitor for augmented reality. Uh, so let me congratulate you, Joseph, for the 3D Graphy Medical Awards 2020. Uh, 3D visualization monitor hardware company of the year and also to have been registered as one unique company which is patented right now and uh, uh, is is the only one as a monopoly here globally uh, and it was a pleasure to connect with you in our recent 3D graphy medical conference where we could actually see a lot of uh, medical doctors and service providers uh, coming back with their inputs saying that this is a technology of the future uh, in terms of AR. So we've been promoting 3D printing and it was in March that we've also got AR and VR as a part of a 3D technology because 3D technology offers various different solutions. So that's also the reason that we also accorded doctors and surgeons and researchers uh, to be identified and also hospitals to be identified as 3D technology assisted companies and individuals in their own specialization. So 3D technology comprises of 3D printing, AR, VR, 3D imaging, visualization, scanning, software, yep. all of that. So it's I think uh, it's a good time that we are all in, in terms of seeing how cohesively all these technologies can be of benefit for the medical industry. And really congratulate uh, your technology for the hard work that you've been doing. Uh, it's an amazing product that you, you have and I'm sure it will actually add a lot of value uh, globally. Yes, it is. But India, in, in, in terms of Indian perspective, uh, I think every hospital or, or a medical center or a diagnostic center when it comes to radi radiologists should have these technology. So thank you uh, for being a part of this and also for us to, uh, for us to give an, an awareness of what this technology can offer. Uh, uh, Joseph, let me uh, ha ha let me know from you uh, in terms of your journey. How did you actually manage this uh, product and uh, as a company, and what is it going to add value for the, the the medical fraternity going going forward? Yes, thank you very much for for this unexpected award for us. So. It is definitely great to have uh, attend on your uh, per, uh, very professional arranged conference. And it was also great for us to get the feedback. We have live discussion and uh, we, we get uh, ideas uh, for the sales process, where we have to go, what are the right doctors and, and purposes uh, we, we can showcase our technology. And yes, we believe it is a must have in all radiology uh, institutes in, in the first stage. And um, how, um, how it comes, uh, we started uh, in already in the 1995 with, uh, with a with my company and it starts in the graphic card business. And so graphic, we, uh, from the beginning of the 3D graphics, uh, it was first vendor or uh, 3D labs and the second vendor then comes uh, with NVIDIA and then also with AMD. We have always the fastest graphic cards, not only listed in our portfolio. We have always the fastest graphic cards in our stock, in our inventory. And uh, so uh, we get in all branches always uh, the high-end users, uh, the users who has the most uh, or the highest requests on, on graphic visualization performance. And and so we get in touch with very interested people and, and so it takes not too long to have the first customers who, uh, who uh, needs a stereoscopic 
visualization as well. And and I was personally uh, infected uh, by by stereoscopic screens in in the year 2003. I think it was the first time that I get in touch with a stereoscopic display. And so we started uh, the reselling uh, of of an, uh, different brands of stereoscopic monitors, and. Uh, the hype of stereo uh, is, was gone after the cinema uh, uh, changed from the 3D to the 4K and 4K to 8K resolution. So it it was not big attention on it anymore on the on the stereo in in in, in the full band uh, bandwidth of the market. And so uh, we had a lot of know-how, and that was the reason to start our own product 2015 to develop it and we have a, a, a wide network and so it it goes uh, quite easy to find international partners and uh, so the idea is to go with partners in uh, in the local markets and in india we're working together with uh, srihari the company schneltech as one of our focus partner and uh, uh, yeah, it uh, it is uh, for me also a, a great experience um, to run a partner business uh, like I want to uh, to be and uh, participate in a partnership to a company. So I think we gave more support to partners than a lot of other uh, manufacturers, and uh, yeah, this this is uh, for me really. Uh, I'm, I'm proud to be a manufacturer and can support my partners. So I hope I give you an answer. Yeah, great. I think yes. Uh, uh, also, Joseph, what I see is there are a lot of uh, 3D software companies uh, whom you can actually uh, align with because these are software companies which also need to have those stereoscopic. Uh, 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 versions within the software to actually get their image uh, in the augmented space to then benefit. Yeah. So how do you see that as a uh, uh, as a move for going forward? Because I think in that case, every software company should also look at this as as a good option so that we, they can integrate this to then offer the solutions to the hospitals. So I think yeah, they, yeah, so they have a chance to go forward. So how do you strategize how many software companies that you see in the country or globally that you're trying to align? Yeah, the, the the software is the key for our hardware. So without software support, uh, the hardware is useless, uh, and and that's the reason we have hired a partner manager this year, uh, Stefan Oldenberger, and uh, we are uh, starting now a list of supported uh, applications. And uh, even in, in a short time of, I think, about 10 months, we have now 300 different software uh, on top of this list. And uh, in the last 10 years, I guess I helped about 70 companies to integrate the stereo feature in their application. Right, right now, we have about 40 uh, stereoscopic plural view displays globally at software vendors uh, to make a qualification, certification, and also as a helping uh, device to integrate uh, an uh, a 3D application in the stereo uh, uh, transportation. Sure. Uh, how do you think a, a platform like 3D Graphy can be of uh, your help? Because immediately after the conference, there were a lot of inquiries from various hospitals and some doctors I'm sure you're in touch with, uh, and they've actually shown interest. But I think what is important is uh, the conference was good. Uh, there were a lot of different, different sessions and different topics. But what I was uh, suggesting is like, uh, as partners, uh, we see an opportunity to also uh, have your active participation wherein we can actually have focused workshops, which can be conducted mm -hmm. every 10 days and 15 days to invite doctors and hospitals to actively know and learn. Because what we found is from this conference, there was so many different technologies and services and innovation. You know, so it is always good to be at one point for everybody to know what is happening around. But now yeah. 
we are we should be choosing those options uh, or those innovations and technology to work very focused uh, through these platforms so 3d graphy workshop is what we've actually venturing into immediately on the 12th of december we are conducting a orthopedic uh, application workshop for all the orthopedic surgeons mm -hmm. uh, you know for uh, for material science likewise post that we are also doing one event for all the hospitals uh, in the country and everything will be online mm -hmm. with the same platform because it becomes more easy and convenient for us to connect with them so that actually helps the course what do you think yeah. uh, as a company how we can work together yeah we we, we have definitely uh, attend on and and showcase our technology to get in touch with with uh, those for us new customers and uh, our technology has to be uh, seen in life at the end so it is necessary that we support them uh, in the next stage uh, in the first stage it is always the software limitation so we have to uh, to check what kind of software did they use is there a way uh, to use exact the same software is an, an alternative software available which has already the support of the stereo in case uh, yes that's great then we can start with an, maybe an alternative software also we can parallel work to help the software vendor uh, they used uh, to implement the stereo things it is not a big thing if if someone knows their source code you can run a stereo implementation in one day so it's only one day development uh, uh, so it's it's not a big thing but uh, if if you don't know the source code it is uh, of course a little bit harder uh, to to fix everything but the principle is quite uh, historical so we have an opengl 1.2 extension which is already comes from the unix and and is from 1990 something so uh, and and it also needs not a special a graphic or operating uh, system uh, base so that's that's a good thing but the idea yes at first get in touch find interest next uh, follow up what is uh, uh, the software and uh, then we can start with an with a demoing or with a presentation on site yeah i i, I want to invest uh, here definitely money in india uh, to drive uh, this innovation in, in, in your country. Yeah, and it's actually gaining a lot of traction in various uh, applications in neurology, in cardiology. In fact, we've been continuously talking to various uh, surgeons. Uh, and while I've been interviewing them, and these are all uh, experts who've been doing a lot of work in technology and also 3D printing. Uh, and I was all, also uh, stressing on the point on AR because and everybody is saying that AR is very much at the tip. We are just starting. So because 3D printing has been utilized uh, uh, on a long term basis, they've been using it uh, and that too, 3D printing itself is in, in the very much in the inception stage. And what we believe is uh, both of these technologies will actually complement each other going forward. Actually, uh, Joseph, yeah. you know, so people can use. Yeah. So I, I think with augmented reality and 3D printing, they can they can make your choice they can cho make a choice for example if there is a hospital they can choose yeah, but, but but we uh, uh, for your instance uh, we are in the vr side okay mm -hmm. and augmented reality is more software uh, related so right. uh, no special hardware typically is is necessary it's only a layer on top of a of an image and and uh, we are in the vr so uh, typically you have made the scan and then we can uh, use um, uh, it, it's, it's like a virtual prototype okay so yeah. we, we built your body and and right. this is uh, the VR your body is then the VR object and then we can cut your body and we can make analysis uh, in the AR it is an uh, we are looking at your life picture of your life body so it and and then we get an on top layer 
And two dimensional, uh, is this is a two dimensional image then. Is this two dimensional image is, is, a, is a layer on top of your uh, three dimensional body, for example. And, and, and so uh, only to make it clear, we made only the VR and mm. not the AR. Yeah, yeah. Stuff. So good. So uh, it was nice to connect, uh, Joseph, and it was also good to exchange notes and also get a lot of insights coming from your company uh, for many medical, uh, you know, respondents and doctors who could benefit from this technology. And once again, let me uh, uh, congratulate you for for these awards. Uh, and also now that with three D graphy being a global platform, we could connect with a lot of global respondents. So uh, I'm sure uh, uh, we have a larger role to play now because uh, with, with this pandemic, uh, you know, virtually people can connect from everywhere, from any part of the country. And this is itself is an opportunity that I could connect with you uh, mm -hmm. to share ideas and thoughts. And we believe even after pandemic or even after the, the COVID, I, I'm sure people will look at this platform as one good uh, source of sharing ideas and knowledge and uh, uh, wisdom about technologies. Because, I mean, yeah, one is you don't really need to travel as long as you can connect, you can share the, the thoughts, and then you can pro progress in terms of maybe having a physical meeting or a physical event eventually. So I think it, it's going to be a hybrid kind of a, uh, uh, you know, option that people would look at mm -hmm. as a choice. Yeah. And you can yep. choose how they would want to make their, uh, you, know, you know, knowledge based information set in terms of communication for them to make a choice. So uh, thank you so much and wishing you a very uh, uh, happy Christmas uh, early uh, in the day and also uh, also uh, I think this is the Thanksgiving month and uh, so ha have a wonderful year ahead 2021 I'm, I'm sh hopefully looking forward to seeing you know there will be a lot of new innovations coming from your end uh, and uh, congratulations once again Joseph have a wonderful yes, thank day you. Take care. thank you so much thank you as well have a great greetings to India bye Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Bye.